service have, officers of the National Police Service have told me in confidence they did not get advance intelligence briefs about the magnitude of the protest in Eldoret, in Kericho, in Nairobi, in Gedurai, in Embu, in Nyeri. Since independence, there has been protests in, around Parliament. Never have protesters invaded and gotten inside Parliament. Senior officers have told me in confidence they did not have an advance intelligence brief about the intensity of the protests so that they prepare in advance. The National Intelligence Service slept on the job. And the problem is simple. The Director General of the National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji, was a junior officer in the National Intelligence Service before he was appointed as DPP. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service. They are for crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. 13 who are removed from the service, and 13 assistant directors to come and help reconstruct the service and get sanity back to the National Intelligence Service to serve the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. President William Ruto deserves best, better. He deserves a director general who knows what he's doing. He deserves a National Intelligence Service that is effective and that can analyze situations and keep him and the government informed on what is going on. It is embarrassing to me as Deputy President that it has taken protests, deaths, mayhem, destruction for the President to know the truth, yet there is an organization charged with that responsibility. I have publicly stated that under this administration, Kenyans are free to criticize the government without fear of reprisal and state agencies. This was a promise made by both the President and I.